actually easier to stretch a circle pizza than a rectangle. Savannah made the pizza dough earlier today and then it's been resting in the fridge most of the day. So it's going to be probably amazing. Pretty excited. Pretty excited. Did you say it's probably going to be amazing? It's going to be amazing. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> a fancy pizza master move yeah it's called decking it so if you don't do like a new york style pizza that's thin that cooks on the rock very fast the best way to do it is going to pan and then deck it on the rock for 30 to 60 seconds at the end to crisp it up now it's getting brown don't want to go too long though it'll burn it it's probably just about ready but these little pizza stones do help a lot when you're at home into there that's what you want not too much you want to burn it but you want that crunch bottom so what are you doing oh i'm so ready for pizza do you need to get me to get it out of the pan you got it got it nice More than anything, living in this bus has taught us resilience, an elasticity that makes problems not as scary as they once were. We've watched things not go as planned too many times to count, but we've also watched them bounce back, sometimes better than before. Through some very hard lessons, we learned there's just no room to be complacent, because living a life in this bus will keep you on your toes. One moment, you're eating homemade pizza at sunset in front of one of the most beautiful views you've ever seen. And then, not even 24 hours later, you're broken down behind a mechanic shop in Phoenix, the bus throwing a fit of shuttle bus-sized proportions. Yeah, living nomadically will frequently knock you down a few pegs. But over the years, we've learned to acquiesce to these moments because we know the good ones will return. They always have. Sometimes with a renewed sense of appreciation that can almost feel like a drug. It's a good reminder that time is fleeting and nothing is guaranteed. That's the whole reason we wanted to slow down and sink into this lifestyle in the first place so we can remember to appreciate the little moments as they happen, not just when something goes wrong. They're opening the doors. Hey, that's good news. They're okay. opening the doors. They're open now. Okay, so we just woke up and we are parked behind the mechanic because that's how it goes sometimes. We came in for some routine preventative maintenance. Did a couple things, but then found some other things, and then thought we were leaving, but then a brake line blew. We were just coming in to get a few things fixed. We definitely did not plan on spending the night here, but the bus had other plans. So here we are sleeping in the mechanic shop parking lot. It happens sometimes. 
it's not the most fun but it's also not the biggest deal in the whole world because we have our whole house yeah at this point in the game we're pretty used to this being something that happens at least once a year sometimes a few hours turns into a couple days and uh this is one of those times so hopefully we can get everything done today and get out of here but we will see um best for problems to rise up when you're at the mechanic so can't be too unhappy we weren't on a dirt road there was no breakdown yeah this is actually one of those rare times where we're sleeping at the mechanic shop but we were not towed here which is best case scenario it really sucks to break down be stranded somewhere need a tow you're stuck at the shop that's always not fun this was kind of a different scenario we came in two days ago for a scheduled appointment we wanted to get our brakes looked at make sure that they were still okay because it is a heavy duty vehicle Vehicle. We like to keep an eye on the brakes. We also had a few electronic things going on like our cruise control wasn't working We had a dash light on so we just scheduled an appointment during this appointment They started digging into things noticed that the calipers needed to be replaced Which was a bigger job than we were originally anticipating So they asked if we could come back the next day so they could order the parts get the job done as they were getting into the jobs it just kept going kind of one thing after another sometimes when you're going through and fixing things you'll notice other small things other big things and yesterday was one of those days where you start replacing the calipers and you notice this little thing needs to be adjusted and then they're putting it back together and pretty much completely independent a brake line had gone i've had this happen on other vehicles fortunately it happened here when the vehicle wasn't really moving because you will lose half of your brakes, in this case the front, which can be pretty unsettling on a road, especially if you're on like a mountain road. It's frustrating as it all is, pretty happy that happened here before we're out driving and just have to come back or go to another mechanic shop. Definitely best case scenario is something breaks or is identified while you're at a mechanic, not on the road, needing a tow, potentially in a danger situation. So it happened, you know, end of the day, they were nice enough to let us stay here. The brake line blowing on the test drive with the mechanic is a godsend because we're about to head up into the mountains. If our brake line blew while we were driving through the mountains, it could be a really, really dangerous situation. So I think someone was kind of watching over us and making sure that this happened at the mechanic shop and not while we're driving downhill somewhere in northern Arizona through the mountains. So we are spending today in the mechanic shop waiting room. Cross your fingers, cross your paws, cross your paws for us, that we can get out of here today. Mateo and Pablo actually do really well in a mechanic shop waiting room. We bring their beds and they just kind of hang out. I guess we were due for a rent payment anyway. <laughs> so we'll feel good after we leave here that the bus is topped up and everything should be good to go. All right, wish us luck today and hopefully the next time you see us in this bus, we're pulling out of the parking lot, we're getting out of here and heading out to our next camp spot. We'll see you guys soon. It's in moments like this, staring at the out-of-date gardening magazines and motor oil marketing posters for the third day in a row that we're reminded. It's how we handle the tough moments that will determine how our story unfolds. We started out in an old 1987 Ford camper van. So as you can imagine, we've had years of mechanic shop campouts. It's because of pure tenacity and maybe even a little too much stubbornness at times that we're even still here at all. But there's one thing that has really kept us here. A reminder that no matter who you are or what kind of life you're living, there will always be battles you have to fight. So we always figured we might as well choose our battles for a life we're passionate about living. Okay, so we just got out of the mechanic and everything is fixed. We are good to go until the next time, because that's kind of how it goes. But everything's functioning properly. 
and we are ready to rock. We've just been running some errands here. I just had a burrito, so if I'm a little bit red because the salsa was spicy. <laughs> we think that everything with the bus is completely fixed and the mechanic shop that we were at they are so kind and so professional next generation auto repair in phoenix we have been to them many times over the years especially if you need a bigger vehicle fix like a shuttle bus they do large vehicles they have really big bays they can get the vehicles inside so if you're ever in phoenix and you need some work done on your vehicle we totally recommend them we are finally done grocery shopping we got water we filled our propane i think that we are finally ready to actually get out of the city for good we're leaving phoenix we won't be coming back here again this season the bus is an absolute wreck which it always is when we're at the mechanic shop for three solid days mm -hmm. so we just loaded all our groceries in all the stuff that we needed from the city before we head out to the wilderness we're actually gonna drive up north and we're gonna do this nice little swimming hole hike that we've done before in the past we've never taken you guys on this hike with us and i'm actually just so excited to get in the water i bet it's gonna be real cold but <sighs> Always feels good after. We've been in this mechanic shop, and not only that, in the city for so many days in a row that I am just ready to get out of here. I'm ready to get into the solitude and also get into some cold water, get a little hike, a little nature therapy. We are ready for it. Let's get the heck out of here. Let's do it. Yeah. Probably a coyote. That's 
to look it up. It was nice, but it was so cold. It was definitely the coldest water that we've been in. Not ever. This year. Maybe ever. Start tempting. Start bringing a thermometer. We have a kitchen thermometer. We can bring it. You should get a special one for, for leaving the backpack so you can test the water. This water was very cold. It was colder than the last swimming hole that we were in. Much colder than that one. I think so. It's probably like 40 degrees. It's pretty cold. Mm. It uh, hurt to stay in too long. It did. Your feet would start to get numb. That's how you know it's really cold. <laughs> we went from the mechanic shop waiting room to here. We made the best of it. For yeah. Sure. Up, up, guy. Huh. Here, you take the water. I'll take both doggies. Pablo was not feeling it. <laughs> the bus is fully loaded up with food and water and propane. We are ready to get to a camp spot and not move for like two solid weeks. I'm not going anywhere. I'm ready to sleep. <laughs> Take a really long nap. 
Yeah, it's been a tiring week or so. It's just stressful when your house is out of commission. Yep. Even though we can sleep in the bus behind the mechanic shop and have... Excuse me. <laughs> what was I saying? Even though we can sleep in the bus behind the mechanic shop and we have everything we need, like all our clothes and toiletries, it's still just kind of stressful not being able to leave if you want to. Yeah, and unfortunately, uh, we were pretty much out of groceries when we went there. So we thought we'd just go in there for a few hours for one day. So we got stuck having to like get takeout a few times. It was fine, but it was expensive. Would have been less stressful if we had food at least to make at night. This breakdown, we just did the math and added it up. I don't even know if I would call it a breakdown. No. We weren't towed to the shop, so I don't know if it's a breakdown. Routine this, maintenance. This intense session of routine maintenance <laughs> cost us $3,000 yep. all in all because we kept getting things done to the bus. The days just kept going on. Almost all the original parts have been replaced now. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> that's what it gets at some point. You, you're gonna have to replace anything that's original when it's a few years older, you know, so. The bus has been good to us in the last year and a half. I would say there's not a lot of things that we've had to have replaced. Not a lot of big bills or projects on it. So we would definitely do. I feel good about spending the money. It's worth it because it's our whole house yeah. and it's our transportation. So it's really important. We were about due for a rent payment. We call mechanic bills our rent payments because it kind of is. We don't have rent, but we have mechanic bills every once They're in a while. Usually thousand to a few thousand dollars a clip when they happen. We make a big payment all at once to a mechanic instead of paying slowly every month. So I'm sure it kind of works out to be even, but it's similar. It's worth it, I think. It's not, I don't think it's quite as bad, but yeah. If you really broke it down, it'd be like cheap rent, maybe. Are you guys ready to go? Let's go. Are you guys ready to get to a camp spot? Let's do it. Are you ready to hike out? Let's go. Bye.